Hey, how's it going, folks? Larry here, and welcome to Larry's Mountain Pin Review. I am located in Fort Worth, Texas. Eha, peace, and love to each and every one of you. Today, I'm going to do a review that Mr. Announcer uh, got another pin in, and it's a full wind pin. And that's one of my favorite lines of pins because I do enjoy the nib on these pins. I, uh, they have different design pins, they have different models of pins, and I really like all of them. I've tried many many of them and you can find them on my channel and but what i found out about the full wind pens is they really have a nice decent nib and they're all affordable pens okay yes they're chinese made so uh this is the full wind vintage silver fountain pen and it is also listed as being the silver lion the cool sharif mosque engraving pen okay so here's how it comes and where did you get this off of? Uh, this, I believe, was off eBay. Off of eBay, okay. And uh, comes in this little pouch here, okay. You got to get out, and then it comes in a plastic sleeve, okay. And we're gonna wet the pen. Well, I think it's already showed there, okay. So I'm gonna have to go through all that jazz. That's cool. All right, so let's take her out, and I want you to pay attention. To the beautiful detail in this fountain pen this is what makes this fountain pen so unique so dynamitely boss looking fountain pen i love all this kind of detail on the pen just look for yourself and see if you get a real good close-up down here look at the detail look at the detail i'm telling you stunning great work Beautiful all the way down the barrel. You see this This is uh, another pen that's related to the Egyptian pen that I got earlier I saw this one after I was looking at those listings and it does say that Something down I can hardly see it not with my glasses. So but anyway, it does have writing in the bottom down here uh, It has a, what line with the wings or something up there uh, It just beautiful It did a good job. Uh, when you go on top of the finial here, it's flat, kind of interesting, but it's not as flat as the cap is. is a, there's a little lift right about in here that brings this part up a little bit, and you go down to the clip, and you got a nice clip, and it's a sturdy clip. It's not so tight, but then it's not by no means loose. And then there is a band right here that matches the color of the pen right in there and it's a twist off cap is it well let's see no it's pull off Ta -da! gotcha no i'm like doing that once in a while because people say oh no no don't do that that's a twist off cap no it's a pull off cap Oh well, it's got a little plastic uh, liner inside, okay? So, as we go down this beautiful barrel, and just look at that grip. I, I like the way they did this grip section. It really has got that little black in there with it. And, you know, is it slippery? Well, to me it's not, but uh, to others it may. It... Uh, it just looks great. It, it's it's a decent sized grip, so it will hold large fingers, or fat fingers, or any fingers, even hippopotamus fingers. Okay, so, and we go down the nib, and where is my eyeglasses? But anyway, so, it does say iridium, I think. Do I have my, uh, oh, I have this one. Here it is, okay. Yeah, iridium point standard one there and then there is the bead and now this is twist off okay don't try to pull that off there and it does come with a converter Ta -da! there and we just push that on so it's on there really cool and you just cruise this little sucker back on and you're good to go so all right 
it comes with a medium nib that's cool and they say the nib's about a 0 0.7 millimeter and it comes with a converter or it uses standard cartridges the length is about 140 mils and the weight of the pin is about 52 G's they say the diameter of the pin is going to be 14 millimeters and that's the information that I have with this pin but it is really a cool looking pin I'm sure people will once they see this pin they're going to be asking all kinds of questions remember you heard it first on Larry's Fountain Pins Review. Yeah, that rocks. So, what we're going to do next, we are going to, hopefully, do a writing sample on the Genrodia paper. And I'm going to be using some uh, Fountain Pen Revolution Cinnamon ink. Okay, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. There. Wow, yes. Okay. All right. All right. A little shake and bake. Okay, this thought just occurred to me, and y'all can laugh at me out there. La, 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 la. <laughs> Is there a reason that uh, you wouldn't stick just the converter down into the ink to fill it rather than having the converter stuck onto the the uh, nib section You ask that question why don't you just put this in the conversion right well you can if you want no big deal Oh, okay Some do some don't you just depends if you don't not get any ink up some people will usually take it off and put it in there and go like that okay. That just occurred okay. to me. I've never seen that before, and I've, so. I've done it zillion times well not zillion times many times but i prefer doing it this way because it helps get that feed wet with the ink in there nice full that's enough it does make a difference at least for me so that's why i suppose it does help get the ink down to the tines more quickly yes into the feed yes yes I like to get that feed wet and saturated myself. That's my thing anyway. Other people may say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I probably don't. But you know what? Who cares? It's my show. On with the show. This is it. Bam. Hmm. Time for meds, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, time for my medicine. I'm sorry, folks. I'm freaking out. Oh, please. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Okay. So here we go. This is the full win. All right, and it has a medium nib. Okay, there we go. That's me. That is really a nice writer, and really I love the ink, nice color brown, good shade. Fast writing. And it's got good ink flow. Put down the ink, and it's got a fairly wet nib. Not overly wet, but decent. I do like it. Downstroke, cross stroke. Now, downstroke with pressure. 
no pressure. And you get a little bit pressure. There you go. So. So there you have it. The wonderful, beautiful, full wind fountain pen. Really, <coughs> they are a cool fountain pen. Very well made, in my opinion. <coughs> I like the style. I like the flavor, the taste. It's got everything going for it that <coughs> I like. And this pen costs for like 24 bucks, some change. So you can't beat that with a stick. Really? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, you can always pick up a fountain pen revolution, some of FPR ink. If you haven't tried it, why not? It's time to get on the good ship and try some real ink. Let's get to the real thing. Ink. Are you an ink person? Check it out and see. Folks, peace, love, all to you, my Junior Ryan Ink Gurus. I will talk to you later, okay? Don't text and don't drive. And be kind to someone out there. Bye.